TA-1000. You probably might have heard about it in if you are in the hobby. This is a new hyped up IEM from SimGod in 2023. Is it that good? Well, yeah, SimGod has been in a role this year with all the product launches this year, being universally praised by everyone and for all the right reasons. Uh, this is my sing, uh, second SimGod product, so I'm really excited for this. Let's find out. Uh, I would like to say big thanks to SimGod for sending me this review unit. All the thoughts and opinions are about here are my own. Uh, so before I talk about the sound, uh, let's talk about the uh, build quality, comfort and accessories. Uh, they come in a great packaging wherein you're uh, granted by the uh, opening mechanism and a message from the CEO and also to, uh, which talks about the Fermat theorem. Uh, oh, and this uh, IEM has a band in its name, as you can see, Fermat's theorem. The retail pr price for this is around $220. Uh, they have a case and they have two pairs of same tips uh, which is a bit weird choice in my opinion uh, they also have a gorgeous cables and they also have the replaceable nozzle rings in a pl small plastic bag and also have three different types of filters with one being applied to the IEM out of the box uh, and uh, there are three filters uh, I have I'm using the red filter because that is what I find to be the best because the case is really basic I would have liked a uh, better case with a zipper for better security when chucking it in the bag uh, the tips aren't okay uh, but they should have provided with more tips than usual what's weird is is that they have the same types of tips twice which is a duplicate tips a pair of foam tips would have been nicer now uh, they are also really comfortable to wear although a bit weighty on the ear because of the metal shell design uh, but your fit might vary depending on the tips for me the stock tips didn't fit at all so i had to use i had to resort to the uh, kz foam tips uh, depending on the size of the foam tips i wore the isolation was ranging from ever average to some of the best ever i have ever seen or I have ever heard. Uh, these have driver flex at least for me, especially on the right side. It was too much and I have to be really careful when wearing them. Uh, the nozzle length is quite small and it causes some fit issues. So foam tips has been really good for me. They have one 10 mm dynamic driver and one passive radiator. Talking about the sound, well it follows the Harman sound signature but with the variance in the upper mids and the treble depending on the filter and also the uh, passive radiator makes a difference as to how the bass is heard. Uh, there are three nozzles, uh, I'll be using the red nozzle for my entire sound impression. Uh, the black nozzle has the brightest tuning that is for treble heads. The gold nozzle has very sharp upper mids but the treble is a bit tamed. This could be someone who loves very sharp female vocals. Uh, red nozzle it brings down the upper mids a bit below than usual and it improves the treble extension while maintaining the overall beautiful treble of this IEM. Uh, they have fantastic damper as expected from a single uh, as expected from a DD. Uh, I have used the Fio PTR5, the Hebe FC6, the Muse Hi-Fi M4 and the Razer USB-C dongle DAC and my smartphone for testing it out. Uh, it pairs very well with a warm source like the Hebe FC6. Uh, they make a fantastic pair. Uh, they are very easy to drive uh, although they do scale well with more power. So let's talk about the bass. Uh, the sub bass is okay uh, for songs like Waltz by Sunny. I would like a bit more punch and rumble in this region, but this is by no means to say that the sub bass isn't enough for me to enjoy. I personally would have enjoyed a bit more sub bass. These are a bit mid bass focused, uh, hence it shines over here. When, sling, when listening to Waltz by Shani or uh, Crack Crack Crackle by Classy, it shines over here. There is no mid bass bleed too. The bass is very well textured and the quality of the bass is also very nice. Instruments from song like Galactic Funk and Looking Up from the 1985 live edition by Cassiopeia also sounds very good. Especially Tetsuo Sakurai's bass sounds just right over here. And if you listen to it with even larger foam tips, the experience is even more uh, elevated over here. You even uh, hear that bass thump quite nicely the overall mids is on the back seat as expected as it follows the harmon tuning but it is not that far behind that you would not enjoy the vocals the male vocals like chris connell's bill withers and leonard cohen sound really good and the thick voice comes across really well but it does sound a tad bit behind the instruments the female vocals as expected sounds absolutely fantastic haku yamazaki's anu yumini sounds re really good but this fantastic vocal could be a bit much uh, for some even with that red filter which i'm using but i am absolutely fine with it the treble the treble is really good uh, they have fantastic quality and the details in this region uh, with the black uh, with the black uh, nozzle this could be a treble at im and the treble at dreams uh, the treble here sounds really detailed but for some this could be a bit sharp in this region uh, especially at higher volumes uh, i had no issues over here it has fantastic treble extension probably even beats my 7 hertz timeless a which is a planar im and technicalities these are a fantastic over here uh, when listening to 1985 uh, album from cassiopeia the live album from cassiopeia soundstage these are fantastic soundstage when listening to soundtracks from the same 1985 
album from Cassiopeia. It feels so immersive. Uh, they have great depth and also the imaging uh, and then also the width of the sound is really good. Uh, imaging. Uh, when listening to uh, Yumeji by Nano Ripe, uh, it has this great starting instrument uh, uh, section wherein it is playing behind to your left side and also the same thing is playing a bit near on the right side. It just sounds so good and just sounds so right. Exceptional over here. Uh, gaming test. Due to the fantastic sound stage and imaging, these uh, really sound these sound really good and I think they make a great gaming eye. The situational awareness and the hearing you uh, of your enemies around the corner is also really great with this. Uh, but when there is a lot of gunshots happening, it could be a bit shouty for some and may cause ear fatigue for the treble region. Recommendation. Simgod has been doing some awesome stuff in 2023. The EA1000 is an example of that. They have done a great job here over with the overall IM over here. Although I can somewhat understand the lack of the modular cable, but providing duplicate ear tips while not supplying foam tips and some double flange tips was a bit weird. But once you get a good fit with uh, these, they do sound awesome. Uh, if worn with a foam tip and paired with a good warm source, they do sound really, really good. A quality base with wide sound stage and great imaging and ex exceptional uh, treble extension. It does a great job of sounding clear overall while having a fun signature and letting me enjoy the songs of my playlist. Uh, these are a must buy in my opinion if you are shopping at the $200 or even at the $300 range or at least they need to be at the top of your shopping list if you are shopping in this range. These are really that good. So yeah, this was my review of the SimGuard EA1000. I really like this IA. You know, it came in the last moment in 2023 for me and it really took uh, home the winning price because it sound it sounds so good uh and also uh if you do like my video please to like it please to subscribe to my channel as 93 percent of the people watching this video aren't subscribed so i would really appreciate if you could uh, subscribe to my channel uh, i'm a small reviewer liking and subscribing really helps me out a lot so that i can bring in more reviews like this and yeah uh, i really appreciate you watching my video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section down below and yeah that's it uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.